Hi, in this tutorial I would like to speak about the rollover list of uh, form. You could easily do it with Dreamweaver, but what if you wanted to get the list from a database? First of all, let's try with Dreamweaver form. You must insert a form with this red box. Let's create a list menu and if you add this property or click here you could list the values. For example bed and the value will bed. The second item will I don't know drill and the value will be drill this is a rollover list but you wanted to do it with a database and with a table and you wanted to get all the data from the database first of all let's create a MySQL table and this name will items so let's go to phpMyAdmin I'm here phpMyAdmin and let's select the database I use PHP code and let's create a table and its name will items items will have two fields the first field will an integer which is item ID which is a usually primary key and an auto increment item called item ID and here is the item which has a value of our car alright let's see what happened let's save it in a normal way you could create with this method with phpMyAdmin this table and here it is items I show you another option how to create it let's go to php code that age you here I am PHP code dot you let's enter here and choose English if you're English here it is and write down the field name you wanted to create this is items and add another field name which will be item and let's go down here it makes the SQL, SQL common to make your database slash field alright let's see now what happened and at the end of this site it creates an SQL query you must run with phpMyAdmin it do the same but it's a little faster than you drop down the war car or 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 select the the auto increment I where you alright let's drop this table and I create the table with SQL query generated with PHP code that alright it says I create items with a field item ID you, so you didn't need to add an auto increment and primary field and item will a war car which has a value up to 255 so let's see what happened this is the items okay item ID and item let's insert 
a new row which is drill and let's fill all the items you wanted to create here for example so for example book it's an easy item management program will be I think alright and another box and if you browse this table you could all the data here you can see you could update it and so on and now with this list I will do a PHP code with PHP code.agu generator here is a where is it where is it where is it from the fields of the database it makes list panel a form with the listed values from the database field so let's check this and submit it it creates a PHP code here from from here to here at the end of the PHP signs it creates a select field and write down all the values so you didn't need to add this part which is a list you could delete it and in source code view let's insert it paste and it creates the select name will items it creates uh, an empty at the top creates the SQL command it selects all the items from this table with another option which is group by it groups and select just one you can see that if you run this SQL SQL all right that means if you add two book 40 drill and 25 so item it just shows one of them so this is a unique filter named group by all right I add it here and another I do which is an important thing to connect to the database all right before you run an MSQ MySQL query sorry you must connect to the database but you could do it with PHP code generator let's go up here and simple fill in the form make just click it here because it makes an SQL here include connection.php I could wrote it down but I show you where you found it because because it's an important thing you connect to the database right and let's go to the second part of this tutorial and I finish and show you what happened right bye bye and let's see the second part